So match number 27 sees Germany up against Sweden. So Germany will line up like this, Neuer in goal, Hovedes, Watang, Kimmich, Hummels, Kroos, Draxler, Ozil, Kahn, Stindl, Müller and last time's goal scorer Timo Werner on the bench. Controversial. Sweden will line up like this, Olsen in goal, Lustig, Lindenhoff, Olsen, Kronkvest, Klaassen, Johansson, Dürmatz, Forsberg, Gutierri and Isak up front. So match number 27 will take place on June 23rd and that will be at the Fish Olympic Stadium in Sochi. So in our simulation Germany in their traditional white shirts, black pants, Sweden in their traditional yellow shirts and blue pants and Germany keep the ball in play nicely done. However, last minute tackle by Sweden keeps them at bay. Sweden and Germany both opened up their accounts here at the 2018 World Cup with wins. So, a win here, you would you would think. Job done. Uh, I'm trying to think right now. It should be job done. Yeah. Yeah, it would be job done for a win either way for Germany. And that is nasty. That is a nasty foul. Yellow. Johansson in the book already. He's going to be careful. Germany with a free kick. Pretty dangerous position if they play it nicely. It's played out short. And that shot is blocked. A draw, though, keeps everybody in the tournament. Throw in dealt with here comes Sweden nice cheeky pass if you're new to the channel let me know put a comment in but in the section below also if you enjoy the viewing please make sure you give a thumbs up it really helps the channel helps the channel grow uh, as, as I need you know it does boost with the the what you call it the Google algorithm or the YouTube algorithm all these thumbs up and comments help with the channel even if you're just saying stuff like uh, uh, bad team selection or, or Muller should have been sent off or something like that. Whatever you want, just let me know. Also, let me know about your feelings about the World Cup. Are you excited? Who's your tip to win it? Who's your dark horse? Let me know in the comment section below. I do appreciate communicating with fans. I love it. I love to hear about everyone's opinion, especially the World Cup because it's, it's, it gets a completely different spin on it when you hear from fans from, you know, like Morocco, Tunisia, Panama, all the kind of good stuff. You, you never really get the chance um, uh, if the World Cup wasn't on. So, so in the first set of fixtures, Germany opened up with a 2-1 win over Mexico, as Sweden did. They beat uh, South Korea 1-0. Right now, these two guys are cancelling each other out with a 0-0 draw. Over the years, Germany and Sweden have met a whopping... Let me do the maths here quickly. A whopping 31 times, I believe. Germany winning 15 of them. Sweden winning 13 of them. Yes, it is pretty close. Eight draws. The last time that these two sides did meet, there was in the World Cup. It was in 2000 and... Uh, that can't be right. It can't be right. Well... Where I get my statistics from, they said it was a 2013, which is wrong. But anyway, they did meet in 2013, and Germany won 5-3. Uh, um, they also met in 2012, and they drew 4-4. Yes. Some goals galore in these two matches, or in the, between these two sides. Uh, right now, though, there's absolutely nothing between them, and it's looking a bit stale. The first time that these two sides did meet was way back in 1911, and it was a 4-2 win for Germany. But the same year resulted in a 3-1 loss to Sweden all the way back in 1911. Germany with another cheeky wee foul, just to let them know that they're there. Germany will wrap up their group with a match against South Korea. Well, Sweden will wrap it up 
with a match against Mexico. So, and if you are new to the channel, if you're new to this whole setup, we do play two four minute halves and we are approaching the end of the first half and it's been pretty dull. But there's not been many nil nil draws, so I do expect a goal one way or another. I just don't know which side it will be because Sweden do it holding their own and we are now into time added on. That'll be a throw and that could be the last bit of play. It's thrown in. And that's a lot. Nil nil. So the second half about to get underway. Germany will kick us off as both sides look for that elusive first goal of the match. I did mention to start that the goal scorer for Germany in the two in the two one victory. Timo Werner was on the bench. Stindl and Muller got the nod. Is that gonna prove costly for Germany? Something I've I've glossed over is actually Germany are defending champions. They do look a decent outfit as as a little bit of a scrap brawls out here, but eventually Germany get their noses in front and get the ball away. But yeah, they're defending champions and they look good as well. They look good. It doesn't look like Hang on a minute. It doesn't look like a France or something like that that uh France were decent, nineteen ninety eight, two thousand and two. Um it doesn't look like the Germany of the 90s, where they came out in the 1990 World Cup and they won, and then they were just shambolic in the 94 World Cup. Germany will look good 2014, and they look good right now. So I'd expect them to be quarterfinals, semifinals, that sort of that sort of area. And if you get to that part of the the tournament, you've got a you've got a hope and a chance to go all the way. So. I expect them to top this group, uh, and that would mean they would take on. Who would they take on? They would take on the runner-up of Group E, which it looks like it could be Switzerland. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm talking about in the real world, not in the simulated world. But um, I, haven't, I haven't done the bracket. I've not really thought about it. But here comes Sweden with a great opportunity, and that is kept out. Was that against the bar, or was that a save? I'm not sure, but. Germany can breathe a sigh of relief as they are now attacking themselves but nobody nobody forward here Sweden had the best chance of the match so far midfield for Germany it's broken up nice control there by Sweden they're not done yet that comes out for a throw Sweden will take it Long throw. Should be easy pickings for Neuer. With his comb over. Boots that out. Can Germany get their end on this one? That's a good pass. Bit bit overcooked. And that's an even better pass if they can pick somebody out. Which he does. Long distance shot. Beautiful goal. And that is Germany with their noses in front. Is it Stindl? Is it Stindl? Justified his call up against Timo Werner. Did Joachim Love make the right call? He did indeed. Stindl opens up the scoring. Germany 1, Sweden 0. So Sweden have it all to do. If the result ended like this, Germany would have 6 points. Sweden would have 3. Um, the other game finished 1-1. So there, Mexico have 1 and South Korea have 1. Germany would have qualified. And all to do for Sweden. They would have to have to get a result against Mexico. I think a draw would would do them good or would it? I don't know actually. It would all depend on the Germany result. Germany would have qualified though. But here comes Sweden. Nice cheeky effort. Neu is down to it though. Last 35 seconds of the match. Germany looking comfortable now. Just that one goal, but they might get a second. Let's head it on, head it out. Germany will take this throw. Just over 20 seconds to go, and whatever the, the referee decides. Germany now looking to get a number two, and that is out for a Swedish throw. Last 10 seconds of regulation time. Is there any more excitement left in this match? Doesn't look like it. 
It's just like a grinding out to a 1-0 win, which will please Germany. And the German fans around the world, obviously, Sweden will be a little bit miffed because they were in this game. We are now done the eight minutes. What does the ref allow now? Last, last opportunity. Have a shot. Go on. Have a dink. But it's broken up. Germany will now come away with it. And they do. 1-0 winners. So, Germany win. 1-0. And they only had the one shot on target. And that went in the back of the net. Sweden had three. Take a look at the goal scorer. Lars Stindl. 6 minutes 48 seconds. As for the bookings. We had a couple players. Johansson in there for Sweden. And Thomas Muller in there for Germany. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.